Hello, I'm Nemanja Milović, I'm your strength and conditioning coach and today we're going to talk about seven core exercises that you're not doing but should be doing as a football player to be more powerful and more complete athlete. We're going to show some advanced stuff, so tune in and enjoy the video. In my career as a personal trainer, I saw way too many athletes doing the same mistake of going to the gym and doing thousands of crunches. That's okay if you want strong abs or rectus abdominis. But if you want to generate more power out of your kicks, stay on your feet while fighting for a ball and be more uh, explosive and stronger athlete, then try some of those core exercises. I guarantee it will transfer positively on the field and it will be a bonus to your game. So the first core exercise we're going to show today is an advanced variation of a side plank. So it looks like a regular side plank with the outer leg on the bench and the goal is to press as hard as you can with the inner leg the inside of the bench and hold for five seconds. That's going to hit and activate those abductor muscles that football players neglect and are so important in a core stabilization. If you have some knee pain or previous knee injuries, then doing this exercise is not a good idea. It's a great core exercise and try it uh, for 10 reps each side. Remember to hold as hard as you can for 5 seconds. And if you don't have a bench, uh, we have a variation for you with the partner holding your outer leg like this, hips up and with the inner leg you go up and down for 15 reps. So the second exercise we're going to show today is the variation of dead bug. First we're going to explain the starting position. So exhale, bring your rib cage down, flatten your back, rotating the pelvis up. And simultaneously drop the opposite hand and arm for 5 seconds, holding your upper back up. And for 5 seconds bring it to a starting position. We're going to do 6 reps each side with the tempo 5 seconds up, 5 seconds down. Enjoy the burning sensation in your abs. So the, the third exercise is the variation of bird dog. So the hands are right below the plane of the shoulders, the knees are below the hips. You lift your knees for about 5 centimeters off the ground and keep it there throughout the movement. So we can extend the opposite arm and leg Slowly, five seconds up, five seconds down. Okay, do it for the other side. If you want to challenge yourself further and make it more difficult, you do it as explosive as you can. So that way. So explosive as you can and hold it for five seconds. Okay, and if you become real good at it, then put the ball on your back. That's the challenge. The fourth one is a plank variation for a posterior chain. So this one is an isometric exercise that is really going to challenge your hamstrings, your glutes and your lower back. So we have a nice straight line here with the knees fully extended and your feet up. For beginners, try holding this position for 60 seconds. And if you want more advanced version, simply put some weights on your belly. Remember not to drop your hips. So the fifth core exercise is walkouts. We start in a push-up position and walk out hands up as farther as we can. Only the nose touches the ground, keeping our abs tight and not dropping the hips. If that is too easy, try it with a ball. So that's more advanced version. With the ball, try it for, let's say, five times. And without the ball, we have 10 reps. So the sixth core exercise is butt walks with holding the ball overhead. So it's advanced core stability drill. It looks funny, but it's really hard. Try to progress for one meter and then go back to a starting position. Do it for three reps. It's gonna really develop those hip power that it's much needed in a game of football. The last but not the least is our seventh core exercise that is called ball wheelbarrows. So we're gonna start in a push-up position and walk out our hands and uh, move the feet to keep the ball with us. 
So we have a little challenge for you and we're gonna walk out in the distance of full football field. So try this one. So there it is, the seven core exercises that you are not doing and should be doing to be better, stronger and more explosive football player. So try it, incorporate it in your fitness program. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next episode.